وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبِ اللَّهُ We find in these two ayat the essences of Tawheed. Don't declare or accept anybody, anything equal to Allah, rival to Allah. This is Tawheed. And the amali Tawheed, the practical Tawheed, be bondsman to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obey Him, worship Him, love Him, and serve Him from the depths of your heart. This is the basic call of the Quran. Now the second article of faith is Risala, messengerhood, prophethood. And about the Prophet of Muhammad sallallahu now we find these two ayat. وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا If you are really in some doubt about that thing which we have sent down on our bondsman, on our servant Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you are doubtful about it, if you think that maybe that he is composing these surahs himself and he is saying that these have been revealed to me from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you have any doubts, if you have real doubts, then you also can produce, if you can, try to produce one surah like this Quran. I am keeping the word same, one surah, min mislihi, like the surahs of Quran. And as you know, the surahs are very small also. There are three surahs comprising of three ayat only. So the challenge goes to that extent. If you can comprise and compose a surah consisting of three ayat only, and if you can claim that this is equal to Quran, this is like Quran, this is at the same level, it's of literary level as that of Quran, then you know you will have some right to doubt the, the authenticity of Quran, whether Muhammad is himself composing them, or actually they have been revealed to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But O shuhadakum min dunillah, and you call all your witnesses and helpers, accept Allah, accept Allah all the jinns, because you know there were kahins among them, and they had the jinns with them. So they could also get the help from the jinns. Then they had the very big orators in Arabia. Then the poets. They were very proud about their literature, about their poetry. They thought we are the biggest orators. So you call all the people whom you can call. In Kuntum Sadatin, if you are really true, if you are truthful, what does it mean? It means that you really don't doubt it. It's only, you saw is a, 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 an explanation that you are giving forth. It's nothing. You really don't doubt that this is, the, this is not the kalam of Allah. Your hearts have accepted that this cannot be composed, this Quran, by any human being. It's only your verbal, you know, argument that you are presenting. Otherwise, lame excuses that you are presenting. Otherwise, you don't actually believe from the depth of your heart that this is from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why the Quran says, in kuntum sadiqeen. If you are true in your objection, in your doubts, then come and have, you know, then try to compose one surah, even one surah, or like that, the surah of Quran. Fa'illam tafalu. And then if you can't do it, if you don't do it, wa'illam tafalu. This is very important. The emphasis. The confidence with which Quran is saying, you will never be able to do it. It's a miracle in itself. That nobody challenged that we have some poet amongst us who can compose three lines just like Surah Al-Asr or Surah Al-Nasr or Surah Al-Qasr. Nobody, nobody challenged. Nobody came forward to accept this challenge of the Quran. And Quran says it preemptively. فَإِلَّمْ تَفَلُوا وَلَمْ تَفَلُوا And if you don't do it, if you don't accept the challenge, if you don't try to produce something like Quran, and you will never be able to do it. Then you should try to save yourself. Be fearful of the fire of hell, whose fuel would be men as well as stones. Why stones? Because they used to worship, their idols were made of out of stone. When you will be thrown in the fire of hell, these idols, you know, these gods of yours, they will also be thrown with you in the same hell, in the same fire of hell. 
وقود الحلاس والحجارة وعدة الكافرين and that has been prepared for the disbelievers وبشر الذين آمنوا وعمل الصالحات now in addition to the iman bil risala where we find now iman bil akhira because this jahannam fire of hell is a matter concerning akhira when the mention of hell came now side by side the mention of jannah the mention of heaven is also coming wa bashir alladheena amanu wa amilu salihat and o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam give good tidings to those who come to believe and then they perform good deeds anna lahum jannatin tajri min taqil anhar that for them there are those gardens underneath which rivers will be flowing kullama ruziqu minha min samaratin rizqan whenever they will be given some fruit of that garden for their food qalu hadha alladhi ruziqna min qabl they will say this is the same thing that we were being given before this that what does it mean that the fruit of jannah fruit of heaven will be in form and shape they will be like the fruit of this world the grapes of this world the pomegranate of this world all these things you know the dates of this world but you know the taste of these very fruits of jannah will be absolutely different no comparison utu bihi mutashabiha they will be given things which will be compared to each other resembling each other walahum fiha azwajun mutahharatun and for them there will be wives or some people have translated spouses wives for men husbands for women there will be spouses mutahharatun who will be free from all evil mutahharatun wa hum fiha khalidun and they will remain in them forever forever everlasting now these are the three articles of faith to which quran is calling this is the basic call of the quran have believe in allah and his oneness unity of allah and obey him from the depths of your heart in all aspects of your life believe in quran believe in the prophethood of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his biggest miracle is quran and if you have any doubts well accept the challenge of quran come and compose even one surah just like quran and if you can't do it and you will not be able to do it so then you should fear the fire of hell and then you know there is the good tidings for those who believe in allah and good and they do good deeds